Um, yeah, we have Data Spawn now. So we can start killing everyone here. Uh, let's do this one. Let's just have you attack the cone. I've got a burn in my mouth, so I'm kind of... I keep, like, licking the inside of my mouth. Sorry if you can notice that. Um, one moat. Alright, cool. I'm gonna try to save um, all the meat that I can because there's a reason for it. Right. Uh, because I don't think it's canon that like, or not canon, I don't think it's like a game mechanic wherein you like get meat and then you put it on your character and then it goes on to the other party members. I don't think that's the case, unfortunately. Um, there was a thing I wanted to talk about. So, a Blade of Hollow Pleather is a move here, and my initial LP of Hylex 1, I refer to pleather as being more ethical than real leather. I disagree with that statement completely. Uh, I don't know what I was on. Um, yeah, like, I have a leather jacket that is, like, probably, like, 40 years old. It, might even be older. But it's something that will last me a good long while. And, like, it'll probably continue to work years after the fact. Yeah, all right. There's a guy down here somewhere that tells me how to fight the Flash Dash, and I don't remember how to do it without his help. So we're going to boogie from here. Um, but yeah, leather will last like a good long while and it'll work the whole time. Pleather will fall apart in five years because it's plastic. And then when you're done with it, it'll go into a landfill because it's plastic. Like, I know that like a cow is going to have to die for you to use leather, but also a cow is going to die anyway. Cows aren't like immortal beings. <laughs> they just kind of will die at some point. you may as well take advantage of it. You know, people are like, there's no ethical consumption under capitalism, but I think that's a cop-out. I don't know if this game is a proper outlet for that, but I will say, um, art games are probably a better outlet than most, right? My armors will raise your flesh points. Let's grab that just to put something on. At some point, we're going to have a whole bunch of goodies. And it won't matter. But right now, I kind of want to get all the party members. Um, because if you don't have a party member in your party when you grab an item... Or not an item. When If you don't have a party member in your party when you grab a... Oh, he can't wear those, right. Weird. Because the combat bell. Um, if you get something that goes onto your character and you don't have a person in the party when you do that, they will not get it. Um, this is also why I'm going to avoid using meat. I actually kind of grabbed meat when I maybe shouldn't have. So we need to open 
this gate, the sea gate, because we actually do have access to this, this Boat. But we can't go anywhere past that mysterious tower. Don't touch the ambulance goals or you'll die. To initiate warp, touch the central node. Unauthorized contact is discouraged. Thank you for understanding. Hydrate like a merry male tyrant. Warp access is infested. Creatures through the red dotted line and will not cross it. Enjoy your time. So remember we're on file, file three, kiddos. Yeah, let's get out of here. All right. Second paper cup. All right. So this is the dream world or something? Um, I don't fully understand how this works, but this is a thing that people use in order to... This is the thing that people do in order to... This, is a, uh, this vaults off limits. Please go away. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. Are we full? We're not full. It's like, I'm going to have to destroy you if you don't leave. You made me do this. Mustela die. Summon thee. So yeah, there appears to be some sort of dream world or something where like you can use it to quick travel, perhaps. Um, that may be a part of the accretion, but who even knows? Um, a Mustela Day is a member of the Weasel family, I believe. And there is a Frank Zappa song called Weasels Rip My Flesh. Uh, and we may see it, but these things have an ability to rip flesh. Yeah, there you go. They rip your flesh. Actually, wait. Let's do a calibration on you. Um... There were more, like, lore things I was going to talk about. I talked about how Wayne appears to be like a screw-up. About how Gibby is possibly of the same species. All right, they're waking up now. Let's just work through them. Guard guards. All right. Cool. Now we can just mash our way through. But yeah, there appears to be like deeper story here. And like initially I discussed how there doesn't look like there's much story in this game and they're dark flame. That's not good. Um, there doesn't appear to be that much story. And Hylix 2 is like the real place where story shows up. But like there is some stuff for it laid here, you know? Artificial bicep found. 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Bad juju found. We'll go ahead and grab this because this is inconvenient and it'll be useful for us. Detonation. An actual attack. You may have noticed that almost all of our moves have been debuffs or buffs. Um, but yeah, I feel like there's a lot going on here. I feel like there's probably like a, a just a simple document with everything on it written up, but it's still very cool to think about. Um, I, there is somehow somewhere around here, I think it's this one, that is like a, a sort of reference to Chrono Trigger, I believe. Smoke of an eating evening product and device rose like a mutant concavity in the eyes. Flesh and will restored. Cool. Because there's a, a quote-unquote cat down here, and there's a mom woman. Meow. And then there's a bed upstairs that the protagonist can sleep in. Visitors are rare. I remember reading about it. Um, 
Hylix is like it's very high quality because like look at this game. This is a this is a crappy looking RPG maker game. There's no denying that fact. But despite that, it still looks great. Just because the clay is cool, you know? Clay games will always have something about them. Like, Armor Krog is not very good. I, I will admit that Armor Krog was disappointing to me. But despite this... Don't touch the device or off to destroy you. Touch it. Unauthorized ask access detected. Manifesting a horrid projection. All right. No, <laughs> oh, that ain't good. Um, I was trying to wait and save this, like, topic for later. Yeah, we need it. <laughs> um, but Pangorma, our later party member, is a member of a group called the dark knights i believe um and they may or may not have existed before the accretion they may also have existed in like some other time um i know that they existed a bit ago oh this ain't good damping huh we did touch the harbor gate, though, so maybe we'll be able to get out of here. Well, that ain't good. Um, so if you want to get into Hylix, by the way, of course, my LPs are a good place to start. But if you wouldn't rather watch my LPs, I'll have my feelings hurt, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> I will say... Uh, Vinny Vine Sauce over at the Vine Sauce channel has done excellent LPs of both Hylex 1 and 2, and he has a short edited down version that was great. You know, obviously, I don't think Vinny Vine Sauce needs more views. That guy's doing pretty great for himself. But I do appreciate his LPs. They're fun. Um, we got more money, so let's grab some items from here. Um, definitely going to say something else. Oh, yeah. Um, there is a relatively, like, how do I put it? Like, popular, uh, high, like, subreddit. Um, this game was developed by Mason Lindroth. You may have seen his name in the first episode. Yeah, this game was developed by Mason Lindroth. Um, nope, gate's all closed. Damn. Uh, but he actually got help to do the second game. And the person's name is Chuck Salamone, I believe. Um, which I would often misread as Salmonoa. Because I'm dyslexic and I'd never heard it said out loud before. Can you blame me? Um, and part of the reason that the subreddit for Hylex is so popular and like po arguably the best place to go is because um, Chuck is relatively active there under the name Artemis Lives uh, 
I believe that's the case anyway. I was just looking at it yesterday, but like... He comments on political things. No, I don't mean anything by that statement. Oops. Don't know what I just did there. Esteemed archaeologist from Mangir, the mutant city, enjoys sustainably wrongfully in products. I'm pretty sure it's Artemis lives. It's a living. Okay. Oh, they're both asleep. Cool. Makes my job easier. We'll bank that the rest of that for use later. Okay, so Yeah, I don't know if I've talked about it, but like dude, I love this game so much. Um just it's so simple and yet it's so stylish, it maintains itself so well. It's just such a solid game. Like, I don't think that this is, like, a perfect game, quote-unquote. Damn you. 120 is a bit excessive, I think. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. I'm getting thrashed here. Well, huh. <laughs> That's unfortunate. 